The move slash copy parallel tool is very handy when you need to create an element that parallels one or more elements in your design. This powerful tool is located on the home ribbon in the manipulate group. In this lesson you will learn copy parallel by element, copy parallel by segment of element, copy parallel by portion of element. Continuing in learning.dgn, open the models dialog and open the copy parallel model. In this first example, we'll demonstrate how to perform the simplest of copy parallel operations, the copy parallel element. Zoom into the green elements. Next, select the Move Copy Parallel tool, and in the tool settings, select the Element method. Set the following options, Mode, Miter, Distance, Enabled, and set to 7.5. Use Active Attributes, Disabled, Make Copy, Enabled. Select one of the green lines and place a second data point to define the direction of the copy to the inside direction. Press Reset to complete. Because the green lines that make up the original shape are all separate lines, you'll have to repeat this operation for each line. Next we'll demonstrate a copy parallel option which rounds off the corners of the new element. Move to the red shapes in the second row. Select the Move slash Copy Parallel tool, then select the Element method and set the following. Mode, Round. Distance, Enabled. Don't worry about the distance, we'll set that in a moment using a new technique. Use Active Attributes, Disabled. Make Copy, Enabled. If the distance is not specified, like in this example, you can set it graphically by defining two points. Click the Measure Distance icon adjacent to the Distance field. Snap to the midpoint on one of the sides of the inner shape in the left example, and then on the midpoint of its parallel copy. The distance is now set to 6.8. Select the red shape on the right, place a second data point outside the shape, and click Reset. The entire shape is copied. In this example, we'll copy parallel one segment of the original element rather than the entire thing. First, undo the element creation from the previous exercise. Select the Segment of Element method. Select any segment of the red shape and enter a data point outside the shape. Press Reset to complete. Note how only that one segment was copied. This time we'll be copying a portion of the source element by identifying start and stop points around the element. Once again, undo the last action. Select the Portion of Element method. Define a start point with a data point. Moving the cursor along the element, Enter another data point to identify the endpoint of the segment to be copied. Enter a data point outside the source element and press Reset to complete the operation. Finally, let's see how we can copy parallel more than one element at a time. Move to the orange elements at the bottom of the element set. We select Move slash Copy Parallel and set the following. Mode, Miter, Distance, Enabled, and set to 10. Use Active Attributes, Disabled, Make Copy, Enabled. Instead of picking the elements individually, we'll drag a selection rectangle over the two elements we want to copy parallel. 
snap to a point on the arc or line, and then place a second data point to define the direction of the first copy. Place another data point to create a second copy. Before creating the third parallel copy, let's change the distance to 2. Data point one final time to create the third copy. Press Reset to complete the operation. In this lesson you learned Copy Parallel by Element, Copy Parallel by Segment of Element, Copy Parallel by Portion of Element. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.